The UV index was established by the World Health Organization as a measure of how safe it is to be out in the sun. Why? Too much exposure to ultraviolet radiation can cause sunburn and may lead to skin cancer, cataracts, and other health problems with repeated long periods in the sun. Here are monthly average UV indices at noon around the world. Low numbers are colored green for the lowest risk of overexposure. Higher numbers like 10 colored red mean very high risk of overexposure. And purple shows areas of extreme risk. How much UV radiation reaches Earth's surface is due to how high the sun is in the sky, the ozone layer thickness, clouds, land elevation, pollution, and reflection off of the surface. Notice that areas with mountains have a higher UV index. The sun's angle changes with time of day and season. In these monthly maps, watch the values increase in summer compared to winter, peaking in June towards the North Pole and December towards the South Pole. National Weather Services make a daily forecast of the peak UV index based on how much UV radiation is expected, plus the sensitivity of human skin to that light. The UV index from NOAA is included on local TV channels. What can you do to protect yourself from overexposure to UV radiation? It's simple. Pay attention to the UV index in your area. Don't spend too much time in the sun. And if the index is high, wear sunglasses, cover up, and apply sunscreen to expose skin. Mainly, pay attention. For more information, visit climatebits.umd.edu.